All right, here we go. Ultra Prism. I'm Andrew Mahone, and I'm here. This is my first box of Ultra Prism. Mikey was kind enough to give me one of his judge boxes from the pre-release. So here we go. Ultra Prism. This is actually the first, uh, as far as the ordering goes. I mean, I am I am the first one of us to actually lay hands on these cards. But, you know, probably going to have Darium's video run first. And I'm just going to take a little bit and uh, kind of look through these because this is my first time looking at these cards. So we got Glamiao, Snover, Hippopotas. Oh, look at him with a huge mouth. Shinx, Dupider, Cheruby. And I'm actually going to do my stack maintenance out here so we can get a little bit of vision on it. Alolan Sland, Sland Slash, Ancient Crystal. Uh, okay, okay, in Spirit Tomb. Very cool. And we're just going to do those like that. And uh, let's go. Look at that. This thing looks weird. If you look, look at that Giratina. <laughs> I feel like I've never gotten a good look at like Giratina's eyes or like beak or whatever that thing looks odd uh, i don't know about that giratina i mean he's kind of freaking me out all right we got sandalet turtwig riolu croagunk eevee and execute a hippowden and a psychic energy very cool that missing clover such a funny card out of this set missing clover it's like if you play all four of them at the same time. If you play four Missing Clover at the same time, you get to take a prize. Oh, we've got our first hit. We've got our sleeves already. Okay, Passimian, Shinx, Carnivine, Murkrow, Magnemite. Love that Magnemite. I'm pulling him out. Uh, Morotum and Dialga GX. Our first hit. Uh, Romotum, Morotum, very cool as well. It's got that tool thing that allows it to attack for free if you have like nine Pokemon tools in the discard pile. So very cool cards. And we've got our Dialga GX. First hit from the new set. Very cool. It's got that timeless GX attack that can allow it to uh, take multiple turns. So that's pretty crazy. Brand new effect. I have two of mine. Show them that card. Oh, okay. All right. Mikey's here. He's saying that I need to show this off a little bit more. So here, let's check that out. Dialga GX. Got Overclock. Draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. Shred. Metal and two colorless. This attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. And Timeless GX. Take another turn after this one. That is crazy. So check that out. Very cool. Dialga GX. The regular art there. Uh, definitely... Stoked to have my first hit. I like that Electabuzz. I'm really into it. And that Cosmog is actually cool, too. Look at him. Got kind of running through the mountains there. Uh, we got Mikey joining me here. Taking a look at these cards, too. This is his first time seeing them as well, to my knowledge. Right, Mikey? Yeah, yeah. 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 And I another Mo wrote them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mikey let me open him first. So, yeah, we're definitely both taking a look. There, Gardenia. I don't even know who Gardenia is. Who's Gardenia, Mikey? Uh, she's a trainer. Heal 80 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any grass energy attached to it. Very cool. She's got a nice little cape thing on that she's wearing. A little cloak. All right. And we got a Leafeon pack. Uh, I'm going to stand my... I don't think I'll ever be able to look at that Giratina without thinking that it's like some goofy little demon chicken or something. Uh, it looks really funny. Like, I, oh, Heatran. I didn't even know Heatran was in this set. Look at him. Heatran. Nice little hollow rare. Nuh-uh. I didn't look at the Heatran. No. He's a prom. Oh, well, I guess. All right. Well, I didn't see this art of Heatran. This art's pretty cool. He's like climbing up a wall like a spider or something. So that's pretty neat. Oh, I like that Magneton as well. Palpad and Luxio, the famous Luxio with the disconnect. You can't play, your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand during their next turn. Uh, pretty cool. Got a little, uh, little quaking punch action going on there with the Luxio. Very neat. All right. And there's our. Demon chicken. Look at that, Mikey. I mean, I'm going to pass it to Mikey so he can actually get a good look at that, too. Is it just me, or does that really looks funny, right? The art is a little funny, but that is how Garatina looks. Is that how Garatina? And I just have never really looked well, that closely at a Garatina? This form? Uh-huh. It's, uh, it's a dimension or whatever chaos form. Ooh. Like look at that new form. Lily art. Whoa. Oh Whoa. What an upgrade. So That's pretty. cool. Very cool. Okay, I like that a lot better than the other one. It's kind of like those different N arts. Like the first one, I feel like is always very like stoic. Like they just have like them, you know, kind of like the original Juniper art. 
in the original and art it's just very small and then like as you kind of go through you get more creative with the supporter artwork so i really like that lily art all right let's see that so this is a different form of giratina yes. you're telling me that's like it's uh it's an altered form of when it like flies through different dim dimensions okay so this is like the dimension traveler yeah oh i love that weevil the weevil love that weevil look at him kind of Looks like he's like surfing down the snow there. That is awesome. Uh, and it's a cool card. Uh, Icy Wind, 10 damage. Have you not seen this one yet? Uh, Icy Wind, 10 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. And Evil Admonition. This attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. So uh, 50 damage times, you know, the amount. Uh, yeah, so if your opponent has four Pokemon with abilities in play, does 200 damage. Oh, and... Uh, that's the Garchomp, right? That is the Garchomp. All right, I'm going to set him aside, too, because uh, we are uh, taking him. All right, and then Looker, Yanmega, and Palpad. Palpad. Uh, Palpad could be a cool card in this set for sure, uh, just because there's no way in standard format to bring those supporters back, you know, to the deck, really, other than, you know, through Pokemon effects. Nice little Shinx there. And the Tapu Lele, this actually was a very controversial card for a while because, did you see first the Psychic one was revealed, right? The, uh, and it was going to be a promo for us? I'm the one who brought it all to light. What? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right, because like some player played it at Worlds, but we don't have it yet. Correct. Yeah. It was, it was only released in uh, France and Japan. Right. So... We have a fairy version here, right? We do. No psychic version. And I think because the psychic version would be really busted with Dimension Valley and Expanded. We're supposed to be getting uh, the psychic version sometime uh, early next year. Okay. But yeah, um, the controversy was uh, there was a miscommunication on the legality of the Tapu Lele okay. at Worlds. And so the Japanese players thought they were able to use it. Right. It only it was only like three or four cases though. Right. It ended up being, but the first day they had to let uh, them play with it, and then the second day, since it was a whole different tournament, they uh, banned it. Look at that young goose. Oh my gosh. I know. Look, he's so crazy looking. Oh my gosh, that Magmar. Uh, excuse me for taking a long time. I mean, I, I this is my first time seeing I the artwork, the so we go. We really gonna slow roll these. So anybody who wants to just see the hits, like go ahead, skip to the end. This is the first time I'm ever. Look at that print plop. This is the first time I'm laying hands on any of these cards. So I'm really excited just about all the artwork. I have any because even though like I've seen. Oh look at him. Uh, even though I've seen, I love this artwork. He looks great. Uh, even though I've seen some of the cards. Um, you know, their translations. I haven't actually gone through and looked at like all the commons and uncommons, you know, as far as their translations go. Croagug, I feel like there's been a lot of Croagug cards like as of late, as funny as that might be. There's the Gibble, 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 Pachirisu, Yanma, Empoleon. Oh, people are talking about that Empoleon. Yep, let's look at that. Total command, water and a colorless. This attack does 20 damage for each of your. Each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. So, you know, got a nice little attack there. 160 hit points for a stage two. Pretty cool. And there's Aqua Patch. So it does have a way to accelerate. So nice little card there. Heat Rotom. Check him out. He uh, could do 80 damage for free if you have nine or more Pokemon tool cards in the discard pile. Uh, Mikey says he's going to get it to work. Oh, a skateboard. I love this card. This is my card. I'm actually going to take this. So <laughs> the retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is a colorless less. And it can retreat even if it's asleep or paralyzed. I think in some very select decks, a skateboard is... Oh, and Mount Coronet. All right. We're taking that boy, too. Because we're building that deck. We build in that Magna Zone deck, uh, but in some very select decks, uh, a skateboard would be better than you know, uh, whatever you know, uh, Floatstone. I mean, if everybody in deck has oh a Torterra, with a hefty retreat cost of four. Um, if uh, oh and look at him, that Grottle. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Um, a skateboard. I, I love that. Oh, and there's my boy, Alolan Dugtrio. I love this thing. Gold Rush. 
Discard any number of metal energy cards from your hand. This attack does 30 damage for each card you discard in this way. I will get that to work. That's that's my pet deck right there. That's that's what I want. That's going to be my project. Getting that Alolan Doug Trio oh, sure. to, uh, you know, knock out some huge Pokemon. Oh, my gosh. Look at this thing. Look at that. Vulpix. The Alolan Vulpix. Those are so cute. I can't believe they made this a card art. Like, it's very... You know, kind of abstracted almost. That's very cool. Very sketchy looking. Uh, free attack, roar. Your opponent switches to Pokemon on their bench Pokemon. Very cool. I like the theme too. What is it like all the Alolan Pokemon? Are they like having free attacks? Is that like a kind of theme that... Oh, look at that Lopunny. Oh my God, with the tea set and the cake and the cupcakes. Oh my God. Unit energy and Luxio. Very cool. Um, but I think that's like a theme. I feel like all the Alolan Vulpixes have like free attacks. Alolan Doug Trio has free attacks. Oh, we got I something. Think the Alolan Basics have free attacks. The Alolan Basics have free attacks. And then some of the Alolan Evolutions have free attacks too. Right. I think that this is, I think it's the energy. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Shinx, Execute, Magnemite, which I'm taking. Buizel, Boozle. Buizel. Buizel. Magnemite and oh, Sogalia Prism. I thought it was the energy. Oh, we got Sogalio Prism. Oh, this thing is incredible. Take a look at that. Oh my gosh. So happy about this being the second hit. Very cool. This is the card I wanted from this set. Uh, I'm so excited. I got to go talk to Kevin about how much I have to pay him for it. All right. So, uh, Sogalio Prism. Radiant Star for each of your opponent's Pokemon to play. Attach a metal energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon in any way you like. Corona Impact for four metals. This Pokemon can attack during your next turn 160. But that amazing uh, first attack, Radiant Star, being able to uh, just, you know, accelerate energy. And then look at so the beautiful. holograph. Beautiful. I love the hollow on that middle prism. That looks so good. Oh, my gosh. And the black borders. Yeah. Ugh, I love the black border on this card. That looks super slick. Very nice pull there. Very excited about that. Oh, my God. Let's put a sleeve on him. Uh, this thing is nuts. Oh, I love these prism cards. Just seeing the black border there is like really exciting you know when you open the pack first too so that was really cool uh awesome awesome second pull there and then we got fan rotom uh what's fan rotom do all right spinning fan this attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's pokemon all right and a retreat cost that is free so okay okay so the interesting thing is it's actually in the reverse hollow spot cynthia oh it's so a bring it so it brings back you see that was a green code so you can pull major hits. Right, even with a green, green code. code now. Okay. So it makes it makes you uh, like it's so normally when you're like, oh, green code. Now you're nothing's sad, in here, right? Because right? it's a sun and moon set, but right. now this is the first sun and moon set. That's crazy. That that's so that crazy. That's cool. crazy. Very cool. It brings back excitement. Definitely. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I'm really stoked on that hit. All right, a diglet for me. Ooh, Sneasel, and look at him. I Sneasel and Weavile are like two of my favorite Pokemon, so like, gotta look at the Sneasel art. I love that thing. I don't know, who is he with there? Is that like a guy? Is that anybody? Is that Cyrus? Looks like it might be Cyrus hanging out there in the back. I think that's Cyrus. Yeah. All right, very cool, and I love what, just like sitting on the edge of a bed or a couch or something. like Chilling. Chilling. Love Sneasel. Very cool, very cool. Bunnyary, oh my gosh, the artwork in this set is crazy. Like, very cool, very cool stuff. And there's that Luxray. Some people are talking about, you know, because of the Luxio. I mean, really, the Luxio is like the best part, you know, the item lock. But this thing's pretty cool, too. Uh, you know, receives, what, 30 less damage from the opponent. Very cool. Volt Bolt can snipe 150. So, and Cherim. All right, your grass Pokemon have no weakness. What? I didn't know that was a thing. Weather Guard. Okay. So you can give all your uh, Galisopod decks uh, no weakness to fire. So very cool. If you wanted to, you know, that would be an option for you. All right. We're not even halfway through this box yet. we just taken... This is going to be the world's longest box opening. But you know what? That's just the way I want it to be right now. Chimchar. Uh, Pachirisu. Gardenia. And type null. There's another type null. Okay, so now we have another. And I like that type null art. Oh my gosh, look at that. He's like in the woods. And his helmet looks like really cool. I really like that. So, very nice. All right. Our gardenia goes here. Our type null. 
there. I wonder if type null, you know, no, it's not a hollow rare. An order pad. I think this is a goofy card. Flip a coin. If head, search your deck for an item card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Maybe order pad uh, dreams in uh, Maxi's decks. I don't know. Like, you know, go get an item. Draw two cards if you do, then discard a random card from your opponent's hand. I don't know about that, Mars. Uh, eh, seems okay. Draw two. Discard one from your opponent. One random from your opponent. I don't know. Riolu, Diglett, you could get lucky on Mars. Right. Piplup. Oh, I'm taking the Piplup. <laughs> Sandalit. Oh, that's like a cool Sandalit card. I like like that. All right, Passimian. Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, the Pokemon Fan Club reprint. So, very cool. This is looking like this is going to be the setup card of choice after Bridget rotates. So, hang on to those if you get them. And uh, awesome, Lucario as well. Lucario with that precognitive aura. Uh, very cool, you know, allow you to search your deck for something if you have, what, a Garchomp in play. So pretty neat there. I guess I should take that because I got to build that deck too. Alrighty, and there's the energy. Spirit Tomb, Doug Trio, oh yeah! And Ancient Crystal. All right, we're gonna have Doug Trio built. I wanna do some game plays with Doug Trio on the channel, show it off, get it all built for you guys. Magmar, Electabuzz, and Empoleon, back at it again. Energy, Gabite, Monferno, he is a goofy looking dude, man. Out there in the clouds like that. I'm really appreciate, and Fire Memory, uh, didn't look close enough to the set to know that was gonna be a thing. Okay, very cool. Fire Memory, so now you can make your Silvalli or Psychic Fighting Fire. Are there two memory cards in the set, Mikey? Do you know? I don't think so. I, I don't know. Pertwig, sure Primpla, maybe. Drapion. Metal Energy, Manaphy, Lily, and Magneton. All right. What do we got next? The back half. The back nine. We've got two pulls so far, but I am excited. Oh, we got a third. All right. Carnivine, Glamiao, Drifloon, Sandshrew, Hippopotas, Bastiodon, and Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. Okay, let's uh, let's just take a moment to appreciate this thing. Check that out. The invasion ability. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. So this thing's got Rush In, basically. Caldeo's Rush In. Welcome to standard format. Very cool ability. Has seen a lot of play in the past. So this thing, you know, could find its way into some decks. Uh, very neat card. And even in expanded format, where Caldeo still sees a lot of play, you now have the option to play Dawn Wings Necrozma as well for its invasion ability. Dark Flash, 120 damage, three psychics. Its attacks uh, damage is not affected by resistance. And Moon's Eclipse GX. Uh, you can use this attack only if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So very cool. Gives itself a little invincibility while also dishing out a hefty 180 damage. Very cool Pokemon GX there. Awesome, awesome stuff. Very sick. Okay, so moving on. Uh, oh, I got to finish this pack. We got Volkner, Cosmom, another Cosmom, man. And Pokemon Fan Club. Sweet. Got the energy there. And uh, what, Bastiodon. All right. And Pokemon Fan Club. Cool, cool. All right, on to the next one. On to the next one. We got Pachirisu, Sandshrew, Vulpix. I love that Vulpix art. Very cool. <laughs> Bronzor, Dupider, uh, Shinx, which got that evolutionary advantage. If you go second, uh, this Pokemon can evolve during your first turn. Very cool. And Electivire, Steel Short, your opponent's extra Pokemon is a metal Pokemon. It's now paralyzed. And Volt Knuckle. Like Electivire a lot. I feel like there haven't been any good Electivire cards lately, though. Unfortunately, got a Rangaroo and Missing Clover. Uh, but I do, I really like the Electabuzz, Electivire line. I think they're super cool. Carnivine, Sneasel, Eevee. Oh, look at that, Mikey. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So beautiful. It is. I love that. You know, the glow of kind of the forest around him. Very cool. Yama, Drifloon, Young Goose. Oh, and a full art looker. Looker at that. Ah, we got a looker. <laughs> Draw three cards from the bottom of your deck. Neat little supporter card. I uh, love the art on this thing. That looks gorgeous. The full art. I mean, Pokemon is really hitting their stride, I feel like, with the artwork on their cards. This yeah. looks absolutely great. So... 
Nice full art supporter. First full art supporter hit from Ultra Prism. Very cool. All right, what else? So we got the Hollow, Common Uncommon, the Energy, Turtonator. Love Turtonator and Bronzong. Very cool. All right, on to the next one. Goofy Giratina, Chicken Head, Giratina Pack. All right, we got Morlol. I feel like that's the first Morlol I've seen, but I don't know. Maybe not. Magmar, Chimchar, Sneasel, Lickitung. I feel like that's the first Lickitung I've seen. Look at that. Ah, oh, he's cool. Lickitung, Electric Memory. Oh, now we know. All right, there's also Electric Memory. And then Shaman, got a call for family. Attack, search your deck for two basic Pokemon. Put them on your bench. Very cool. Love little call for family attacks. Uh, very nice. Was that Shaman the Rare? Oh, I was going to say. Psh, almost. Almost missed it. Looker Whistle. Search your deck for two cards named Looker. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So you could go find Looker with the Looker Whistle. All right. And then uh, just get your draw going from there. Very cool. Nice little, you know, strategy maybe for League or something like that. You know, if you're trying to get maybe your League to League. League kid to, oh, we've got something, and it looks like it's got a black border. Oh, my gosh. I'm freaking out. Okay, okay. I'm still not used to this. We've got a Turt Twig, Roselia, Gibble, Electabuzz, Chimchar, and a Cyrus Prism. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Okay. It says you can't play this card if you don't have any water or metal Pokemon in play. Your opponent chooses two bench Pokemon and shuffles the, uh, the others and all cards attached to them into their deck. Now, I've heard, I don't know, have you heard any controversy about this card? So I've heard that in Japanese it actually reads, it has to be active. It has to be active. Right, so this card is technically mistranslated. Potentially. We'll, we'll see if, it's, uh, if it gets erratic. If it gets an errata, yeah. right? Because in Japanese, now I've heard like you know from multiple Japanese sources that say uh, that you know the card reads it has to have a metal or water Pokemon in the active position, right. um, and they you know so I've heard that from like multiple different people. So you know that could be a thing. You know that card might get an errata. And if it doesn't get an errata, it's going to be a lot better than it was in Japan uh, stateside. Oh, look at that Magierna. Man, that thing is crazy. What is that Magierna doing? Change clothes. It can change clothes. <laughs> Once during your turn before you attack, you may put a Pokemon tool card attached to one of your Pokemon into your hand. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Yeah. So most of the time, that ability only goes on like stage one Pokemon right. um, that allows you... Uh, you may put a Pokemon tool card so one of your Pokemon in your hand. Uh, except I think or like EXs. most of the uh, or EX, no, that's just on Genesect though. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's only on Genesect. Only on Genesect. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. So this allows you to, uh, you know, bring a tool up from any one of your Pokemon, which is really cool. But uh, different from the stage one, there's like a Weavile and a and Masquerain. a Masquerain that do it. Uh, I think the Weavile and the Masquerain is unlimited though. Is like you could bring up and put down as many tools as you want per turn, where the Magierna is just once per turn, right? So, like, that's interesting. It's like a little bit of a nerfed version of that, but still a really cool ability nonetheless. Definitely a neat option to have. And cool is called changing clothes. So, like, that's kind of <laughs> kind of a funny, you know, name of it. So, really neat. Okay, cool. Now, the more you know. I didn't know that Magierna was going to be in this set. So, super cool. Dupiter, Stunky. <laughs> Look at Stunky just like marching through a field. Like, what are you? What That's is? How his art normally looks. What are you like, doing, Stunky? Just, just, just marching around. Electabuzz, Booniary, Bunnyary, Rotom, and Garchomp. Very cool. Uh, we've got the Grass Energy, Yon Mega Pal Pad, and Stuntank. I've been pulling out all my old Pal Pads. So I, I've got my Pal Pads already. You know, the old versions. Drifloon, Buizel, Boozle, Buizel. Buzzle, Krogunk, Palpad, Mo Rotom, uh, and Fighting Energy, and that goofy looking grottle. Oh, per ugly, dude! Look at that thing. What is? It looks like it's in like a grandma's bed or something, like all quilted up and stuff. Like that is funny. His first attack is funny too. Oh. Own the place. What? Your opponent has a stadium card. Discard it. If you do, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. Ah, so it does own the place when it attacks. That's very cool. All right, on to the next one. I'm still so excited about, man, two Prism cards. I mean, our Prism cards kind of like looking like they take up the same 
Rarity is oh a Magnazone. Same rarity as like uh, the EXs, the, the GXs, or the brakes. It might be the brakes. Okay. Like two to three get boxed. Right. Sure. It looks like that could be the case. Magnetic circuit, accelerating those metal energy cards from your hand into play. Very cool. Love that. Uh, and the Glamiao. Oh, the Glamiao kind of like very similar to that uh, Perugly that we saw too. So super cool. Unidentified fossil. Has 60 hit points. What? Play this card as if it were a 60 hit point colorless Pokemon at any time during your turn before you. Uh, attack, you may discard this card from play, and this card can't retreat. So, this is the first, this is a reprint, not reprint, but yeah, this is now another fossil thing that they just brought back with hit points, right? Because they got rid of all of that, right? That was longest. gone for the longest. So, now I'm looking at this like this thing's got hit, hit points, points. Yeah. and I haven't seen that since like the fossil set. Is that is the fossil rule back? What does it say on the bottom? You may play this item card as uh, as you like during your turn before you attack. So, this is basically a robo sub. Right? Does it say... It can't retreat. I'm trying to think, is it... I think you still take it as a Pokemon, though, if they knock it out. Oh, if they knock it out? It doesn't say... It says at any time during your turn for your attack, you may discard this card for play. So I guess they do take a prize. Like, unlike yeah. Robo Sub doesn't get a prize. Uh, okay, so this thing yeah. would... It does count as a Pokemon and would, you know, get... Yeah, because treat it as a 60 hit point colorless basic Pokemon. Alrighty. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, that's kind of neat. All right. Uh, I was going to say, that'd be so sick if it didn't take a prize. But I guess, like, you know, that's why Robo... That thing would just totally outclass Robo Sub then. But uh, Robo Sub, still a card. Haunch Crow. And Sand Slash. Uh, I feel like... I still, like, whenever I, I like think about Sand Shrew, I think about from the anime. <laughs> there's, like, you know, in the very early uh -huh. anime, there's that guy who trains his Sand Shrew in water. To make it stronger, yes. you know, and he talk, and whenever he says Sandshrew, he's like Sandshrew. <laughs> he's uh, I don't know, very passionate about a Sandshrew. All right, Wash Rotom, very cool, very cool. Wash Rotom and Mount Cornet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right. Uh, now this box is like I don't know. I guess I got three hits and two prisms so far. Oh, so we shall see. We shall see how this buffs out. Cheruby. There's a couple of these quilted Pokemon here in this set. Crowagunk and Roserade. All right. Uh, inviting Poison. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Their new active Pokemon is now Poisoned. And Flower Tornado. Move any number of grass energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. Very cool. Roserade card. Floatzel. Uh, Skuntank. And Cynthia. All righty. On to the next one. Cynthia is a card. A lot of people are very excited about Cynthia. I'm pretty excited about Cynthia. I mean, what's not to be excited about? Oh, Scruppy. I could not have told you that thing's name. I would have told you. I would have told you that that's Drapion Jr. Drapion. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what that is. I did not know the name of that thing. All right. Uh, Toxic Croak. Very cool. Toxic Croak. So he's always got a revenge attack. I like it. Though. Toxic Croak is always about revenge. Why is Toxic Croak? Escape board, the best card in the set. I think I'm going to start collecting escape boards. <laughs> um, oh, no, I said it. Now I'm just going to get lots of escape boards. But um, escape boards, very cool. And I love that a skateboard even sounds like a skateboard, you know? It sounds like it's like a play on words. It's like right, skateboard, right. skateboard, you know? They almost sound exactly the same. We've got a hit. Oh, we've got a hit. Here's the Toxic Croak. And we've got <gasps> Full Arc Laceon GX. Lay your eyes on that. All right. Super cool. Uh, I was uh, I was I was uh, critiquing this card. Look, man, this card's got text all the way up to its chin. Like, why is the text that high? It's got too much text on it. <laughs> but anyways, because it's got a lot of cool stuff going on. Freezing Gaze. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX in play, and in their hand, and in their discard pile, have no abilities except for Freezing Gaze. So Freezing Gaze shuts off your opponent's Pokemon EX and GX abilities. Frost Bullet does 90-30. And Polar Spear GX does 50 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. She's so beautiful. Sweet, beautiful card. Oh, I know Mikey's excited. He loves the Evolutions, even though I'm pretty sure you don't like Glaceon very much. Glaceon's mm. a 
towards the bottom. But that towards hurt, the bottom. That hurt is gorgeous. Though. It is gorgeous, but why'd they put text all the way up to her chin? All the way up to oh, her look, chin. Oh, look, look, man. She eating the text. She's eating it. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's in her mouth. Like, get the text out of there. Like, whoever shipped that card design, like, the, just, the artwork is beautiful, but the text, come on, just take a couple words out and make it not up is to that her a chin. Eevee? Is that a different Eevee? It is a different Eevee. Oh, of course, Mikey noticed. Yep. Uh, Palette of Friends Ooh. tacked us 10 damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. Very cool. Uh, and just a nice little artwork. It's cool. They got three hopping through the woods. Very joyful artwork there. You could check that out, Mikey. All right. Young Goose, Roselia, Snover. I saw that art before, but uh -huh. I saw this card before, but that's super cool. I didn't know they had two different EVs. Two different set. EVs in the same set. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, what did I drop this pack? Yep. And uh, <laughs> I must have dropped everything when I. Uh, when I pulled that, uh, never got to finish these cards up. Cool. And we got three packs remaining. I'm still, at this point, like, it seems okay. Seems pretty good. I don't know. We, we don't know what the pull rates are yet. We have no idea. So, uh, we're still figuring this stuff out. It seems okay. Like, I see, I feel, I feel pretty happy, but I think I'm probably just happy because I'm opening some new cards. Right. So, <laughs> I don't know. You know, only time will tell whether or not this is a good box or a bust. You know, this might be a bust box, but I think one more. One, oh, we've got one more hit. All right, a Dupiter, a Gible, Gible, a, uh, a Drapion Jr., a Lickitung. Oh, look at that Chimchar, posing with his flames in the it background. Looks like it's a it, looks, it looks like an old version of Chimchar. Doesn't that? That looks like uh, Diamond and Pearl. It does look like Diamond and Pearl, yeah. yeah. Very odd. Hippowden. All right, and what do we get? A Palkia GX. All right. Super cool card. Spatial control. Move any number of energy from your benched Pokemon onto this Pokemon for water energy. Three colorless. Hydro pressure. 60 plus. This attack does 20 more damage uh, times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. And zero vanished GX. Shuffle all energy uh, from each of your opponent's Pokemon into their deck. Oh, boy. That's pretty crazy. Very cool card. So we've got both of the... Uh, what, both of the, uh, the, I don't know, box legendaries. <laughs> yeah, we've got both of those guys in here. And one pack remaining. Uh, I've heard, so there's like a lot of like, uh, this is uh, Diamond and Pearl, right? Donald, there's a lot of Diamond and Pearl yes. cards. So like everybody's talking like, oh, Diamond and Pearl remakes confirmed. You know, like they're definitely going to remake Diamond and Pearl. Why else would they be putting all these Diamond and Pearl Pokemon in here? Like, right? They will, they're going to have to bring... It's been a while since all those Pokemon have been right. seen. But yeah, you're right. There's I a mean, lot. There's a lot of them. Cynthia, Wash Rotom, and Shinodic. All right. I'm pretty sure this is my first Shinodic. So let's take a look at that. Illuminate. Once during your turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a fairy Pokemon. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Very cool for setting up fairy decks. All right. And flickering spores. Very neat Gardevoir. little card there. Gardevoir. You could use it. Order Pad and Monferno. All right, y'all. That does it for my very first uh, Ultra Prism booster box. I know it took a while, obviously. You know, that was intentional because this is my very first one. Super excited to open it. Shout out to Mikey for letting me open his Judge box. I uh, love that Solgaleo Prism. Love the Cyrus. Very cool cards. The Glaceon as well, even though she's got text up to her mouth. And the Looker Full Art. I think these two are probably my favorite pulls out of the bunch. So thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check me out on Twitter if you'd like to follow along with some more Pokemon, new Pokemon news at enjoyfriend, E-N-J-O-Y friend. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>